Thanks, Rob. Hey, JC, good to see you, man. Thanks for the time. Um, are you a little perplexed why this offense is not clicking the way that that a lot of people expected, considering the number of playmakers? I know there have been some injuries and there's some other variables, but but did you guys expect to be producing bigger plays and scoring more points at this point? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say perplexed. I think we we have to play better. I think we know that we're not playing at our at our level we where we expect. Um, so it's not like we don't know what we're supposed to be doing. We don't know why we're not, you know, producing. We we have to play better. We have to play sounder. Um, you know, we as a line have to protect better, have to open up more holes in the run game. We just have to play better. Uh, so it, it's not confusing or there's not a, you know, we're not throwing our hands up in the air saying, I'm not sure how this isn't working out. We know what we need to do better. How tough is it to see Jack go down? Yeah, I mean, it, it's tough. Those, those injuries are are scary, and and you know, it kind of puts a pit in your stomach when when you see something like that. Um, you know, feel terrible for Jack, but um, you know, it just those those are just really tough. Uh, you hate seeing those. Thanks. So next up is Nate Ulrich. Hey, JC. Uh, you know, I know injuries are are certainly part of the game. We talk about them all the time. But as a starting five uh, on the offensive line, you guys haven't played a full game together this season. So when it's to that degree, um, how complicated does it make it for you? Offense? Yeah, I mean, obviously, ideally, you, you want to you know play with with your five. Um, we haven't been able to, but we've had Blake step up and uh, we've had James step up in, in situations. So, I mean, that's. It's National Football League. You, you guys are going to get banged up. There are going to be guys that get hurt, and, and you got to have the next uh, Lex, next guy up, step up, and, and play well. So, um, you know, it, it hasn't been great health wise for us, but you know, we're going to have to find a way. Thanks, Nate. We'll go to Mary Kay Cabot. Uh, hey, JC. This is probably a, a two part question. Uh, so the first part is just in looking around the league, even this past weekend. There were another batch of season ending injuries to, uh, you know, especially some key players, Derrick Henry, Jameis Winston, and then JJ Watt. Um, do you have any idea if, um, if injuries are up this season? And if so, do you have any theories or thoughts on that? And that's the first part. Yeah, at this point, uh, I, we don't have that data. That, the data for the, the regular season won't come in until after the regular season's over um, for us. So we won't, we won't get that injury data for a while. So I, I don't have anything to, you know, relate it to at this point. Does it seem like that? Or is it just because I'm hearing these big names? Does it seem like that to you that they, that we're hearing a lot of like big name season ending injuries? Yeah. I mean, it, it's tough to tell. I think there was the same kind of thought last year when we had that, I feel like it was like week two or three, we had that one week where we lost like six, big name players to, to season ending injuries. Um, so again, I, I try to, before I put an opinion out there, I try to wait until the data comes out um, to figure out exactly what we're looking at. Okay, and the second part of that is um, you guys uh, in particular on your team, and maybe you can't answer this either, but it just seems like an inordinate amount of soft tissue injuries uh, on, on the Browns. I mean, every time I look at the, at the list, it's gone all the way back through training camp. Uh, hamstrings in particular. So do you have any role or say in sort of figuring out what's going on with that? Do you have any theories on that? And if so, what might they be? Uh, no, I mean, uh, I, I think we have a, a great training staff uh, and sometimes you, you just have a kind of a injury bug that, that hits you. And um, I don't think there's any rhyme or reason. I think what we've done is you know, uh, scientifically sound when it comes to how we've ramped up, how we've practiced, um, monitoring the load we have. So um, sometimes you just get bad luck there when it comes to those those soft tissue injuries. But uh, I haven't seen anything that would uh, make me believe there, there's something we're doing incorrectly uh, when it comes to injuries. Thanks, Mary Kay. Dan Lobby, go ahead. Uh, hey, JC, I got a football question and then an NFLPA question. Um, first about Blake Hans, obviously with Hubbard going down, he sort of has become that sixth guy. So how important has he been for you guys? And, and what have you seen from him? Uh, yeah, I mean, Blake's battled. Uh, I mean, it's it's not easy to kind of be that guy that's that's always got to be kind of in the bullpen ready to go. 
Um, but he's done great stepping in and, and going out there and, and providing, you know, a, a good value for us of, of being able to play both sides, being able to start. Um, so uh, kudos to him for what he's been able to do this year, being thrown into a position uh, that probably wasn't going to be his role going into the year, but with injuries has uh, turned into his role. And then I was also just wondering, since this is sort of, I mean, what, what used to have been the, the halfway point of the season, um, there, there haven't really seemed to be any big outbreaks or anything, COVID outbreaks or anything like that. Um, or are you kind of happy with where everything is right now as, as far as the protocols and, and how things have gone so far? Yeah, I mean, the, and we're, we're good until we're not. And I think uh, that that's kind of where we're at. We were there last year, too, where you go around, you go well. But um, any success we've had already um, doesn't really point forward of being good. You know, each week is his own battle. Um, you, you just make you just, you know, kind of hope and pray that uh, nothing bad happens. There's no there's no big outbreaks. We can get all the games in. But, um, you know, we've gotten through eight weeks now uh, with with no outbreaks. And, you know, that doesn't mean week nine isn't going to have an outbreak because for the last eight weeks we haven't. So it's just something you have to remain diligent, keep doing the right thing um, and then make sure that we can get through all the games and, and crown a Super Bowl champion. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Jeff Shadell's next. Casey, back to the offense. Do you think that uh, opponents could be catching up to you guys because of the success, success you had last year? Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I think there are things that we look at and, you know, we have to execute better. I don't think it's something the, the defense did to stop us. I think we know there is, you know, points left out there. There are yards left out there both in the pass and run game. So, you know, it, it's not like we watch the film and are mystified um, what's going on. We know where we can improve and what we can do to be better. Thanks, Jeff. Scott Patrick, you're up. Hey, JC, when Mike Tomlin after the game said the number one priority is stopping the run game for you, and I know other teams look at it that way also. Um, so when that's the case, do you think we still have to just run the ball against them regardless, or would it be easier to throw it more to loosen up the defense? I mean, we, we have to be able to run the ball. I don't think there's any mystery that we're probably a, a run first team. I mean, that's how that's how we're built. That's how we've found success for, for the last year and a half. Um, you know, we've we've run into plenty of eight, and nine man boxes over the last you know year and a half now. So uh, we, we understand teams know they want to stop the run. We're, we're built on running the football and, and moving the pocket and having play action and having people honor the run. So I don't think that's, you know, some some big um, discovery by other teams. Uh, we've been capable of running into, you know, significantly stacked boxes. Uh, we know how to do that. We know how to open up holes and, and that's fine by us. Um, I think every game plan is different when you talk about, do you need to throw more? Do you need to run first or, or throw first? Um, that's, that's not really my decision. Whatever play gets called, we go out there and execute and we know how to execute no matter what the, what the count in the box is. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Marla Reinar has her next question. Yeah, JC, Jack is such an upbeat guy. Have you gotten to talk to him? I mean, I mean, Coach Stefanski wasn't, you know, says he doesn't think this is a season ending thing. Is he is he still kind of the same optimistic person? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he's definitely he's definitely sore as, as you'd expect. Um, but, you know, he's in he's in good spirits. Um, you know, those, again, those those are just so unfortunate um, and, and you hate to see him and um, he'll, he'll be good. He'll uh, you know, he's the type of guy he is. He'll he'll keep a great state of mind. He'll attack his his rehab and recovery and he'll be back better than ever. It's just, it's tough having a guy go down like that. And a guy who, you know, wants to be out there with you and playing for the team. And just one more thing about the run game. Do you think you guys like take some of your offensive energy from that? You know, like, does that set the tone and for the day, so to speak? And maybe that when it's not going so well, maybe you lack a little bit of that. I think like any team, I think when you play ahead of the sticks, so when you can be efficient in the run game and if it's first and 10 getting to second and four and opening up the playbook and having the defense not really know what your tendency is at that point, I think that's, you know, it's not energy. It's just when, you, when you're really efficient in the run game and are gaining yards and, and getting ahead of the numbers, um, that, that, that's when you can play really free and the defense kind of has to play on their heels a little bit because those aren't, you know, tendency calls. When you get in that where they don't know if you're going to then run on second and four or if you're going to pass on second and four and if they commit to the run to stop you then it opens up passes 
Um, so I wouldn't say it's an energy thing. I think it's just an efficiency thing. When we can be really efficient in the run game, especially on first and second down, it opens up our playbook a lot more and opens up a lot of things we can do. And the defense doesn't really have a have a feel of what we're going to do. If we get to second and 10, uh, we get you know a no gain or second and nine. All of a sudden, you know, are you are you running it? Are you throwing there? There are clear tendencies of what you're going to do when you get stuck in those down and distances. Thank you. Thanks, well, let's take one more. Nate Ulrich. And you see, obviously, with Baker's, um, uh, you know, consecutive uh, uh, start streak being snapped, there is a lot of uh, attention on him coming into this game, how he's going to hold up. Uh, how did you think he played from your perspective and just, you know, how he was able to handle himself? Um, and I know you Nick, guys on the offensive line never want to get the quarterback hit, but um, how much is discussed, uh, if any, how much of a factor is that in your mind that you got a guy in a harness with, you know, pretty torn up shoulder? Yeah, I mean, we, we got to keep him clean. We got to do a better job of keeping him clean. And Baker's, you know, he, he battles and he's a warrior and he's, you know, he's going to fight through it. Um, but we, we got to do a good job of of keeping clean. But like you said, it's not something that you go into it and you, you say, hey, now we really need to keep him protected. We go in there trying to to keep him clean every single game, whether he's being whether he's dinged up or or if he's uh, in in a perfect bill of health. You, you want to make sure that that he's got a clean pocket to stand back there comfortably and deliver the ball to the receivers. Mm -hmm.